Good afternoon. Another calculation that you have on your viewpoint that is very important that you're supposed to know is how you calculate your true bearing, which is uh, in TB, uh, not tuberculosis, but true bearing. Then you've got your MB, which is your magnetic declination. Then you've got your MB, which is your magnetic bearing. These three concepts, they work hand in glove. It means there's no way you can calculate your MB without your MD and your true bearing. I'm going to try to simplify them so that it's easier for you to understand. So uh, we have got information that we have on the map that will help you to do the calculations. Like for example, uh, I'm going to show you what we have here. I think you can see this shows your direction, okay? This is your true north. This is your true north. So the difference between your true north and your magnetic north, okay? That's how we are calculating our magnetic declination between your true north and your magnetic uh, north. That's how you calculate our magnetic declination over a certain period of time. So the information for magnetic declination is shown on the map. I'm going to use this map to make sure that you understand. So you can see magnetic declination, 21 degrees, 3 minutes west of true north. This was for 2001. So this is the information that you use when you're calculating your magnetic declination. I'll explain it in detail later on. Then you also have your mean annual change, which uh, eight minutes westward, we see change per year. That is your mean eight minutes westward. So I'm going to start with uh, true bearing first. Okay. So true bearing, uh, remember when you are in, let's say in grade five, I think you were asked to find the direction from a fixed point. I'm going to start like that. Okay. What is the direction? Let me just start from that so that at least I try to simplify. Remember, you used to, uh, to be asked, what is the direction of B from A. It was direction from a fixed point. The first thing that you would do was you draw your cardinal points. That was the first thing that you do. You know you have got your north, you know you have got your south. You know east is always on your right and west is always on your left. Okay, so the first thing that you do was to join, draw your cardinal points. The next thing was to join the two points that is your A and B. Now, when you ask now the direction of uh, 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 a from uh, B from from A. Then we are now going to check now where exactly is it located. Then you are going to come up with something like, of course, it's between south and west, which means it's what southwest. So when you are looking now at true bearing, we are looking at the same location, but now here we are doing it in terms of degrees. We are not using this cardinal points, but we are using it in terms of of degrees. This is how we do it now. This is how we do it now when you want to calculate your true bearing. We are looking now for the angle in terms of degree from the true north. So the first thing that you do, if they ask you to, uh, to write the true bearing of uh, B from A, you have to go where it says from. You draw a perpendicular line like this. You identify your true north. After identifying your true north, okay, this is a perpendicular line, Identify your true north. The angle that you want to measure for your true bearing is from here up to there. This is what you want to measure uh, for your true bearing from here up to there. So the next thing that you do is you take your protractor. This is your protractor. You come here. You take your protractor. You come here. Remember, we are calculating our true bearing. You come here. Your protractor exactly at the center where you've got your fixed point. So you are measuring from here the angle. Let me start it again. The angle from here up to there. That's what you are measuring. So you've got your protractor now. You place it like this. Okay? Along the line of the true north. Okay? So you're starting from here zero. It goes 10, 20, 30. Up when it gets there, it's a straight line. So straight line, obviously, is equivalent to 180 degrees. Okay? So I've got my 180 degrees here. But here, I have to measure up until here. So I'll take my protractor again, do the same thing. Now, you measure uh, true bearing clockwise, which means you're going to go like this, okay? So I'm now measuring now from this line up until here, which means I'm going to say 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, some around 45. I already have my 180 here, which is a straight line. So I'm going to add to my 45. If I say 180 minus 45, 180, not minus, man, plus 45, what do I get? 225, 
which means the true bearing of A of B from A is what? Uh, 225. B from A is 225. But if it happens that maybe you are asked to draw, to draw uh, the true bearing of, let's say, our B is here. It means now I'm going to measure this is the first instance we have got this. It's now saying the true bearing of B from A, which means the angle that I want is this one. I'll do the same thing. A perpendicular line. I'm going to take my protractor. I place it here. Then I'll check. I'm measuring from here, from the true north. Remember, clockwise. So I'll check now 10, 20, 30, 100. It's somewhere around 120, which means here I'm going to have something like 120. But here I've got what? 225. How do I get my 225? 180 plus 45. That's how I've got my 225. Here is 120, which means I've got my true bearing of the first one. Let me cut this as A, this one as B. I've got 225. Then the other one, I've got two bearing. I've got um, 120. That's how I got my true bearing. This is how you calculate your true bearing. So I'm going to write those two bearing at the top because I'll need it when I calculate my magnetic bearing. I'll write 225 degrees. I'll also write 120. I can use one of these. Okay. So now that you know how to calculate your true bearing, the next concept that you are you can also be assessed on or you can be asked to calculate is your magnetic declination. So magnetic declination, what it does is um to the west you add and to the east you subtract this is where we are remember i said the difference between our true north and our magnetic north this is what gives us magnetic declination so if it goes to the west you add okay if it goes to the west what do you do you add if it goes to the east what do you do you subtract and it's always to the west according to the maps that we use it's always to the west so what you do is when you're calculating your magnetic declination which is your md when you're calculating your magnetic destination, which is your MD, let me rub off here so that I've got enough space. Okay, I'm going to rub off here. When you calculate your magnetic declination, okay, the first thing that you do is you look at the information that you have here. You look at the information that you have here, magnetic declination. This is for that year, 2001. But when you're calculating magnetic declination for the current year, Okay, the first thing that you do is you find the difference in years. I'll just say difference in years. Okay. Okay, remember it's difference in years, which means you use the current, current year, which is this year is 2025. So difference in years now is the current year, which is 2025, and the year that is shown here. This is your 2001. 2001. So it means the first thing, difference in years. How are you going to do it? You are going to say um, 2025 20, minus 2001. What do you get? You get something like 24 years. I'll just say why. 24 years because of space. So that is the first thing that you do. You calculate your difference in years. Then the next thing, you have to find your mean annual change. Record your mean annual change. Mean annual change. What is our mean annual change? It's 8 minutes westward. It is what? 8 minutes westward. W, westward, or just W. Okay. We said... To the west, you add, and to the east, you subtract. Okay. So, when you have got this now, you are going to get your total annual change. This is your mean annual change. Now, we are going to get our total annual change. Total annual change. How do you calculate your total annual change now? You are going to use your difference in years, which is 24 years. That you have got there. Multiplied by the mean annual change which is 8 minutes W westward, okay? So now if you say 24 multiplied by 8, 24, 24 years multiplied by 8 westward, what you get? You have 192. So you'll have 
192 minutes westward. But you cannot leave it like that. Why? You cannot leave it like that. Why? Because remember our rule, which says our uh, one degree is equivalent to what? To 60 minutes. So once it's above 60 minutes, you have to change it into degrees. Here you've got 192 minutes westward. You have to change it. You cannot leave it like this because it's above 60. Okay, so you can see if you say 1 degree is equivalent to 60. So it means on this 182, we have got 60 plus 60, 120 plus 60, 180, which give us what? 3 degrees. Okay, 180, 192 minus 180, what do you have? You have something like 12. 12 minutes westward. This is how you change into degrees. How did you change it? Because your one degree is equivalent to six minutes. So 60, 120, 180. Those are the three six minutes. Okay. So your six minute is equivalent to one degree. So it means we have got three degrees here, which is 60 plus 60, 120 plus 60, 180. This gives you 180 minutes. Then you are left with what? With the 12 minutes westward. So your answer here will be... 3 degrees 12 minutes westward. Then after that, you are not yet done. You are now going to calculate the current magnetic declination. Current, okay, magnetic declination. How are you going to do it now? You are going to look now at your magnetic declination in the year that is given on the map. That is in 2001. What was the magnetic declination there? It was... 21 degrees 3 minutes uh, west of true north. Then you add your total annual change, which is what? 3 degrees 12 minutes westward. So if you add now your degrees 21 plus 23, you get 24 degrees. Your minutes 3 plus 12 is below 60 minutes. So you are going to write it as minutes. So it means you are going to have 12, 13, 14, 15. Then you have got 15. Your answer now, remember, is magnetic declination. How do you write your magnetic declination? West of true north. It's only your total annual change that you write it as westward. So you are going to write it as west of true north. So now that you have got your current magnetic declination, this is for 2025. Which means you have added what we have for 2001 on the map plus your total annual change. Now you want to calculate your magnetic bearing. How do you calculate your magnetic bearing? Your magnetic bearing, you calculate it as your true bearing plus your magnetic declination. What do we have here? We have our true bearing. I'm going to use the 225. Uh, true bearing there is 225 degrees plus what is our magnetic declination here? Is 20 four degrees 15 minutes west of true now so if you add the two now you'll have your 225 you have your 225 plus 24 i'm not adding the 15 minutes was less than 16 you get what 249 so you get um 249 degrees uh 15 minutes then your magnetic declination you write it like this 249 15 minutes that's how you write your magnetic sorry magnetic bearing that's how you write your magnetic bearing so these three concepts they work together that is your true bearing your magnetic bearing true bearing magnetic declination and magnetic bearing you can only calculate magnetic bearing after you have your true bearing and your magnetic declination so this is the stage of how you calculate your magnetic declination. But in some instances, in some instances, you can be given the total annual change. That the total annual change for this particular year was this. Okay. Then you are asked to calculate the current magnetic declination. There's no, uh, I mean, it's, there's no point for you to try to study the difference in years. Which means if you are already given your total annual change. You are going to work with this, which means you are just going to take note of your current magnet, uh, magnetic declination for 2001 plus your total annual change. Then you come up with your magnetic declination. So it depends with the stage where you are. You can be given the current magnetic declination 
to say that the current magnetic declination that we have is 24 degrees 15 minutes west of true north which means when you are given this already there's no need for you to do all these calculations you are going to start from where you are because we involve all this stage to give us our current magnetic declination so if the question paper says your current magnetic declination for 2025 is 24 degrees 15 minutes west of true north there's no need for you to calculate all this you will know be attentive to detail you have to know that you're just using your current magnetic declination then you add it together with your true bearing then that's how you get your magnetic bearing so it depends with how they're going to ask you they can even tell you that your uh, like i've said total oil change is what three degrees 12 minutes there's no need for you to do all these calculations once you're already given your total oil change which means you start from here your total oil change if you change add it to the magnetic declination shown on the map it will give you the current magnetic declination so that's the stage where you start so you have to be very careful because now the way they are assessing now they can give you the total annual change already calculated which means if you are confused you think that you start from the difference in years which is not what you're supposed to do when you're already given the total annual change when you are shown or given the current magnetic detonation there's no need for you to calculate your total annual change because you use this total annual change to calculate your magnetic declination you can start from there then you calculate your true bearing then you get your magnetic bearing that's how you're supposed to do so this is very easy this is how you do your true bearing magnetic declination and your magnetic bearing i hope this is easy and simplified Ta -da.